Hey, what's up everybody? We're back with another video from Samo Nella. I'm gonna like this shit because it's probably gonna be dope even before seeing it. I believe in my boy now. This is historical misconception historical misconceptions for you to bring up during family dinner. Let's check it out. of Salmonella Academy is brought to you. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm one of those people that like to mention, you know, like uh, offensive topics or uh, shit like that just to make people feel uncomfortable and enjoy their uncomfortableness, if that is even a word. A word. I enjoy that shit. I enjoy making, fe making people feel uncomfortable for my own amusement. Like saying weird shit, saying random shit, all that, all types of shit like that. I enjoy that for some reason. I am fucked up. I know. I enjoy that shit. You buy Skillshare. Hey kid. Yeah, you. I just got off the phone with the big man upstairs. And he told me that I need to clear a few things up around here. So without further ado, here's 10 pieces of malarkey that you might still be spreading. Number 1. Nobody was ever burned to death at the Salem Witch Trials. Of the accused, 15 died in prison, 19 were hanged, and 1 was squished to death. That last one is way more interesting than any cremation, by the way. Dude was a badass. His name was Giles Corey. He was 81 years old and so done with the town of Salem's garbage that he wouldn't even dignify the trial with a plea. So the town stuck in between two boards and stacked rocks on top of him in an effort to draw out a confession. But every time they tried to get something out of him, all he would say was, more weight. This went on for three solid days until he finally died, never giving any indication as to whether or not he was a witch. One can only wonder. Number two, the OG Buddha. Bro, let's be honest. People back in the day used to be fucking beasts. Like, this dude stood for three days in between two sheets of wood having stone stuck on top of him that probably weighs a shit ton and he did not give a fuck like this dude's a straight up badass I cannot do this shit you guys probably cannot do this shit 99% of the world probably cannot do this shit this dude's a beast as to whether or not he was a witch one can only wonder number two the OG now is he a fucking idiot yes is he a beast idiot Yes. Buddha wasn't the obese guy. That's Budai, a Chinese folk character meant to represent Maitreya, aka future Buddha. Now this shirt is double sad. Number three, Buddha wasn't a god either. Buddha. Now this shirt. I have the body of a god. Unfortunately, it's Buddha. It is double sad. Number three, Buddha wasn't a god either. He was just a guy named Gautama. Now this shirt is triple sad. Number four, ever heard of a vomitorium? Turns out, no, it's not a place where Roman nobles would go to make room for more pheasant spleen and lobster eyelids. It's just a big entranceway to the coliseums that hordes of peasants would spew out of. Oh. Number five, Washington never cut down a cherry tree in his youth. I don't get this one at all. Apparently it's supposed to paint the man in a good light somehow. It's like, Tyler, what the hell happened while we were gone? Where's the tree in the front yard? Oh yeah, that was me, got bored. Just felt like vandalizing something, you know? Hey, what about my honest character? Number six, the pyramids weren't actually built by slaves. These workers were respected members of society. They ate meat and worked in three-month shifts, and even got to be buried right next to the tomb after their death. Matter of fact, that's more than we can say for the people working on man's greatest achievements today. If I spent years of my life helping to build the space station, you're damn right I'd want the Salmonella Memorial Corpse Receptacle floating along right next to it. That would be amazing. Number seven, the Great Wall of China is not the only man-made object visible from space. I don't know where you dipshits got this one from. First of all, there's no- Yo, my boy has zero chill in this fucking video. I love him man-made object visible from space. I don't know where you dipshits got this one from. First of all, there's no way you could see it with the unaided eye. The wall is like 30 meters thick at most, while the distance to outer space is generally recognized to be 100 kilometers up, known as the Karman line. To give some perspective, that's like me holding up a standard-sized guitar pick from across the entire length of a football field and asking you what color it is. Also, there are plenty of man-made objects that are way bigger in terms of local surface area than the Great Wall. So even even if it was visible, Home Depot parking lot. Well, there's no way it would be the only one. Number eight, you might have heard this one before. You know, Hitler was a jerk and all, but hey, 
He made the Autobahn, so at least he was efficient. Actually, Hitler didn't create the Autobahn. It was already there. He just helped expand it into newer territory. In a similar vein, Mussolini didn't make the trains run on time. With most of Italy's infrastructure repairs happening before his rise to power in 1922, and even then, they weren't nearly as punctual as he'd like you to believe. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to find something else to like about these fascists. Like Hitler's elegant way of speaking. Or the way Mussolini says spaghetti. Paschetti! Number 9. Iron Maidens weren't actual torture devices used in medieval times. Basically what happened is, some archaeologists in the 1800s saw an old metal coffin and some spikes, and said, yo, wouldn't it be wildin' if we put these things up in here, so that way if someone goes in it, they get poked in their bits? You are a sick man, Cornelius. I like it. Into the museum. Is this actually real? It's not a torture device they used back there? What? It's... You are a sick man, Cornelius. I like it. Into the museum it goes. At least Iron Maiden was real. They were as real as it gets. Still are. And don't you forget it. Number 10. Einstein never failed math. He had mastered both integral and differential calculus by the age of 15. 99% chance this one was Who thinks that he failed math? What? As real as it gets. Still are. And don't you forget it. Number 10. Einstein never failed math. He had mastered both integral and differential calculus by the age of 15. 99% chance this one was just made up to make glue eaters feel better about themselves. Well, congratulations, Dimitri. Look. Glue eaters feel better about themselves. Einstein never <sighs> failed math. He had mastered both integral and differential calculus by the age of 15. 99% chance this one was just made up to make glue eaters feel better about themselves. Well, congratulations, Dimitri. Looks like you failed pre-algebra for the third time. Brady he still can't graduate. Well, hey, that means I'm still on par with famous smart science man, so, uh, yeah. Worship me. So it just goes to show that we've all got a lot to learn about the world around us. That's why you need to go to Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 20,000 classes in technology, design, business, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high-quality classes on must-know topics so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. They've got great courses in graphic design and animation, which I've clearly already mastered. I mean, check this out. But I'm sure you could get a lot of use out of them. You can also learn plenty of more recreational skills, like how to solve a Rubik's Cube, or how to play chess really well. Join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today, with a special offer just for my viewers, where you can get two months of Skillshare completely free. To sign up, go to skl.sh slash samo. Again, go to skl.sh slash samo to get two months of unlimited access to over 20,000 classes for free. Act now for this special- Okay, that's enough. Anyway, this video was awesome. It probably would have appreciated a bit more if I knew anything about Buddhism. I don't know shit about Buddhism. And he had like the first three about that, like Buddha not being fat, being Buddhai, and him being a human. I don't know shit about that religion. Legit, I don't know anything about it. I'd watch a video explaining it, that would be pretty interesting. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, everybody. It's your boy Prof Chaf. Bye bye and have a nice day.